are certainly issues that we all are facing today in our society and our daily political life. I remember very clearly that Mahatma Gandhi said that, you know, without women's role in public life, India, for that matter, any nation cannot be complete and developed. So if we start off from there, I think our constitution provides for gender e equality. Successive prime ministers, right from Jawaharlal Nehru to, you know, Indra Ji and then Rajiv Ji, they all had a very clear focus that women need to be empowered in India and how best can this be taken care of. So we've had a lot of legislations and enactments that have come in which are assuring that women are provided that safeguards. Uh, they are provided a place in the society which they can play an active role. But to actually um, say what is the role of women in the coming days in modern India, I think would be doing a disservice to them. Because this nation would not have existed without you. I mean, without women and women's active participation in everything that our country is doing, right from the days of independence, right from the days of Mahatma Gandhiji's call for freedom, when there were so many who came forward and sacrificed their families and their assets for the uh, single-minded devotion and dedication to get freedom for our country, I think we have come a long way. Today, some of the issues with Chandanaji has raised. And I think I, I would like to start with a personal note. Uh, though I am the son of a former chief minister, I want to be very clear that I entered politics in 2003. My father pretty much retired uh, from active politics in 1985. So, you know, he never encouraged the family to come into politics. In, even in 2003, when I wanted to come into politics, he was very, very skeptical. But I had visited a few villages in um, uh, Kamam district and I saw the poverty that was there and I thought it's about time that maybe few of us should come into politics and try and make a difference. And that's what motivated me and, and made me work for the Congress party. Congress party was uh, quick to recognize uh, people like us and give us the right encouragement. And we are here today because of what we had believed in and that was that if you're sincere in your efforts to do something better for the country, of course, through your own political parties and your own representations that you have, I think you can set out and achieve what you really would want to do. And so, and I'm not, I'm not getting into a, a debate with Chandanaji because she will immediately take the microphone, and get back to me. But I think, I think, come on. I mean, we have to come to a stage when we should accept that there are people. Look at Mayavati ji. I mean, she's the chief minister of the largest I mean, in India today. So, you know, she's been twice elected as a chief minister. She's leading her party across the elections all around. She had a strong desire to become leader of the country, the Prime Minister of India. She started a very famous movement all around the country. 